here's the project I want to do. This is a wing uh, blank. I don't know if you can see. It's got a shape to it. It is a, an EPS foam wing for my race car. Uh, it's cut using a CNC hot wire cutter that I don't own and uh, can't make. Um, it's an airfoil shape and it has a hole cut for a uh, aluminum spar to strengthen the wing that I make with it. Uh, it's great. It's a little bit expensive. I need a new wing because I had one that broke and this one is too small. I'd like to make one that's a little bit larger. So I am looking into making a wire cutter of my own. Um, this is a little six dollar five amp 12 volt adapter that you plug into the wall to power something. I use it on my deck for low voltage uh, lighting and I use a dimming switch that was another five bucks uh, with it. I'm basically using those two pieces to short circuit uh, through a length of ordinary steel wire. This is wire from my MIG welder but any utility wire will work. Um, the normal problem with styrofoam, and you can probably see it here, is it's made of tiny beads and you can't sand it, you can't really cut it without tearing it up. It's the same material like a beer cooler foam, or beer cooler is made out of. Um, but it can be cut with a hot wire. I've set this up. I'm going to plug it in. Uh, this is sort of my test to see if it will work. Um, I have a larger piece, the EPS foam. This is a 4x8 sheet of rigid foam insulation you can buy for 15 bucks at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. This is hot. You can see I've tested it a little bit already. Um, but with that wire, I am able to cut just about any shape I'd like. It's a little bit like a scroll saw or a bandsaw with a pretty narrow blade. But as you, I don't know how clearly you can see that, it cuts very easily. And because it's sort of heat sealing it, it leaves a very nice finish as opposed to this rough finish you typically see. Not sure how bad the fumes are for me. Um, but the idea is to take this basic idea, other people have done it, uh, stretch it out to a 60 or 70 inch wire uh, in order to cut a wing made out of a very large piece and fairly thick piece of this foam. Um, this was my first little like baby step into figuring out how to do it. It seems pretty straightforward. I'll have to see with a longer wire if the little wall adapter is up to the charge. Other people use battery chargers uh, to do it or model train transformers since they have a dial type you know, rheostat built in. But we'll see. This is step one. I picked up some foam today. I have some wire. Next step, a bigger piece.